Okay, our third exponential law is ridiculously easy and it is simply any <laughs> any non zero base. Any non zero base, so B where where B is not equal to zero for any non zero base with zero as exponent is equal to one. That's it. So b to the power of zero is equal to one. As long as b is not equal to zero, okay. If its exponent is equal to zero, then it's equal to one. Okay, why why is that true? Well, there's two ways you can look at it. I like the following proof. Okay, remember what we said that c times b to the power of n is means that b multiplies c n times, or c is multiplied by b n times. So if I have this, then I have one times b to the power of zero means one is multiplied zero times with b. In other words, zero times means no times. Okay, and if I say multiplied no times, it means not multiplied. doesn't it? So this is just the language reasoning process. So 1 is multiplied 0 times with b just means 1 is not multiplied with b. So what do we have? Well, then we just have 1. Okay, not 1 is multiplied with 0, that would be 0. No, 1 is not multiplied, so what do I have? I've got 1. Okay, so that's one way of looking at it, but the one way in which my teacher showed it to me um, when I was still at school and I would never forget it